Hello, beautiful divine beings. Coming to you tonight, into the group. Just to check in and to share and to see what wants to be spoken to trust and the guidance to be present for the sanctuary time. Even if it's online, in the online space, sanctuary, a sacred space, a place to be yeah, connected, a place to stay connected, a reminder to yourself. Mm. I'm very grateful for this space and to be able to show up and share what wants to be spoken with my sisters and brothers and my family. Online worlds, online channels, multidimensional channels in all the realms. So yeah, I am preparing emotionally, mentally, physically to go on another journey, another journey to to reset, to recharge, to receive, to give, to serve. Another opportunity to go and be in the beautiful land of Costa Rica with my beautiful sisters and our teacher and guide, Sophia Tom, to be initiated once again into temple body arts and yeah, all that is present here this time really tapping into higher consciousness and awareness and ascension. So I am leaving in two days on Saturday and um, I'll be there for yeah a few days. A deep connection to the jungle, to the mother jungle, deep connection to the ocean, to the mama ocean, connection to the earth. Hi, Shelly. Mm. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're doing all right. I hope you're doing well. Moving through life, keep transforming, keep healing growing. We are all growing so much right now. Yeah, so I think I wanted to talk a little bit today about the feminine cycle. The feminine cycle. Just in like a little short understanding, I was connecting to that today. The feminine cycle in the way of, of our bleeding um, from the moment when we first started bleeding, when we were young, in our teens, did we really pay attention to that? Did we honor ourselves? Did we have a beautiful um, ritual? Did our moms teach us to honor our blood and our, honor our time when we were um, bleeding for women it's such a a topic that not hasn't been discussed for a lot of us continues to not be discussed as much or honored as much and there's a lot of shame you know behind a woman's blood so you know I wanted to just talk a little bit about this how our feminine bodies move through these cycles or move through these four cycles that we can track within our bodies, these energies that move through us. No matter what age, you know, once we start bleeding and we bleed through our lives and, and then we stop, we pause, we come into the sacred pause, the menopause, to embody all of who we are to turn those rivers within to no longer need to bleed and 
you know, to really honor that sacred blood flowing within, the wisdom that flowings within, the wisdom of the crone. And while we do bleed, there's a way that we can recognize our cycle and honor our cycle as a, as a woman throughout the month. And then these four feminine cycles really help us connect to our hormones, to our emotions, to our physical, spiritual changes, to connect to clarity, to letting go, because when we bleed, we let go, we release, you know, we connect to the womb, to the wisdom of what do we need to release at this time of the month. It's such a good opportunity, you know, to really take a look at, at the things that our old no longer service that didn't work out um because when we bleed really it's just like each month we release um that layer of us that didn't create a life a layer that didn't create a baby and so it's been released through us so any dream that we didn't create we let go we let go it's just like this constant releasing and honoring knowing yourself knowing when to let go and really follow that beautiful cycle to of inner guidance so when a, when a woman bleeds it's really that energy of dreaming time an energy of a sacred dreaming time of journaling of, of receiving listening listening to the whispers of the womb when the womb is working hard to let go, you know, to contract, to create this pain and actually realizing, you know, I haven't had a lot of um, menstrual pain in the last little while. I don't even know. Like it used to be really bad. But once I really began to honor myself and my time of bleeding, it's such a sacred time of dreaming, of going into the dark state of a dreamer and to receive and to rest, allow ourselves to rest and to go deep, allow ourselves to dream, to honor that sacred time and let go of the shame. When we bleed, shadow work is around letting go of the shame. So we take, you know, a few days to be in that sacred space of dreaming and then once we're done bleeding we're transitioning and this is a time for me i just currently was done bleeding and transitioning into this next phase of this cycle from bleeding and dreaming into a time like from the darkness into a time of rebirth when we dream it's this time of death of release of composting into the earth, this element of the earth, the deep blood that flows through our veins, this physical matter. And once we're done, we're moving into this new beginning, rebirth. We're coming from the dark night. We're awakening. We're done dreaming. Now it's time to act. It's time to be inspired, to breathe. It's like this air element of rebirth, of inspiration, of inspired action, taking the movement and the momentum to move forward, to take that dream that we were just dreaming and open our hearts and, and, and be that graceful warrior energy of divinely inspired action and to breathe in, to feel into that beautiful energy of movement, of grace, of creating the dreams into reality and not burning out the shadow in this energy of movement is to burning burn out and to work 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 and to bring in this muscular hassle energy and to burn out so we want to be with grace we want to act with inspired action rather than with any action and really listen to what am I inspired from this dream that I can bring into the matter. 
And so then we're in this active phase. So today I noticed, you know, I was feeling active, even inspirational and, and more active. Like I'm done dreaming, I'm done resting. Now it's time to like start building new, like this new layer, this new creation. And so we move into the next phase of our cycle. The third phase is this beautiful energy of, you know, going half from bleeding halfway, this energy of ovulation, this energy of fullness of a mother, of being pregnant. If, if the dream seeds that we planted during that time were created and we're watering them and taking care of them and creating these beautiful actions, then we feel pregnant and then we begin to nurture our, our pregnancy and nurture our, our nourish and nurture, being ready, preparing ourselves to birth this new dream and, and be that loving celebration of self, the harvest of self, this fire energy of the mother, of the lover, and the shadow here is to overgive or over nurture or smother almost like this smothering energy of the mother that oftentimes is that project the projection of inner pain the projection of inner pain of the relationship with our own mother can be projected into our creations Either we're overgiving, smothering, um, and instead we can just dip into that mother love, the love and all-encompassing energy of nurturing care as we give birth to a dream that we were dreaming during that time of bleeding, moving into the fourth phase of our cycle, and that's this, the energy of you know, as a mother, once we've given birth, we're now bringing that new creation into life. And then it's time to actually look at it, to rest, to reflect on how did we do this? Yes, I was dreaming. I was creating with an inspired action. I gave birth and I nurtured this creation. And now I am in this place of resting and like looking back and taking a look at what have I created so far and a place to restore too because we take we took so much energy to do all of those things all those three cycles now it's time to rest to prepare to bleed again to prepare to die again to release again and the energy of like this flowing waters in the womb space and integration preparation reflection a sacred pause of a wise woman of wisdom within us to remember all the steps to be at peace at ease and to know that you can you have done this cycle no matter what it looked like and then we are ready to go into our, our sacred dreamer again to bleed again and so the shadow of this final phase is a little bit of, of madness of this wildness that is uncontrollable sadness and depression it's like this mental perception of our mind and we get to bring ourselves into that release again to that next stage of releasing and bleeding again onto the earth as the feminine cycle keeps going from dreaming to action to giving birth and then to resting again dreaming it's like a never-ending cycle morning day evening and night morning day evening and night and as we connect to that inner cycle we can get, we can connect to more inner guidance, to more clarity, to more of our own inner visions, the inner wisdom. And, you know, to honor all of the cycles within our bodies, even if we are done bleeding, even if we are in the 
in the sacred menopause state of our lives, we can still notice when do I feel more like dreaming and then I'm more active and then I am in my nurturing, loving care and then I'm resting. Like I've done, it's like this beautiful cycle of the earth that is also corresponds with directions, the north, east, south and west and you know so many other things that the energy centers the chakras and just if we we can keep layering these beautiful um, wheel of the year with all the festivals and just incredible and you know this journey of discovering that inner cycle the feminine cycle is um about giving ourselves that beautiful space and time to journey within to discover more of who we are uh, as a woman and uh, for a man to honor a woman in her cycle to honor a woman when she is bleeding and she's in her dreaming state and then when she's in her action she wants to create like supporting that and you know for a man also to connect to the feminine within to connect to the mother roots to the grandmother roots and how uh that cycle needed to happen that feminine menstrual cycle needed to happen for all men all women to be born into the world and to deeply honor the bleeding of a mother, a bleeding of a woman, a wise woman, and um, to honor that and celebrate a woman in her wholeness and fullness. Thank you, Maha. Thank you, brother. So yeah, a little bit of that, a little bit of a cycle from dreamer to graceful warrior, to mother lover, to a wise, wild, integrated integrated woman and that's how we move as women we, we can move as men and women we can move through our lives in our cycles in our through the phases repeating this beautiful intentional creative journey releasing each time each cycle releasing and letting go and beginning again rather than Hoarding and not releasing or not creating and it's just like a whole mess so we can clean it all up we can begin new we can begin to create new with more intention more understanding more yeah inspired more inspired activated and bring through all that we came here to bring our joy our peace our happiness our service, bringing our service to all living beings with our presence, the teaching, the educating, the inspiring, the uplifting, the activating, and really stirring the strings of a human heart to stir the strings, to be able to play a beautiful song with your body to play beautiful strings of your body, the rivers of light through your body, through your mind, heart, body connection together as a beautiful lute or an instrument of wisdom, love, devotion. Devotion to all that is holy, divine devotion to the earth and to our own, our own intentional cycle of life from life to death, to rebirth, to infinity, sata nama infinity, life, death, rebirth. And that's how the cycles work. Releasing, letting go. And that's 
so important to let go yeah so yeah that's what i wanted to share i hope this was helpful and inspiring let me know how this feels for you i will keep on showing up in all the places sending you so much love thank you for tuning in for a little bit of sanctuary space tonight to connect to the divine feminine wisdom and teachings many blessings blessed be